Day three, week nine then. York, Ripon, Kempton and Baden Baden in southwestern Germany will be right in the in the Black Forest, right on the northern part of the Black Forest for some races at Baden Baden. It's our only visit of the season to that German racetrack, so we'll be looking forward to that a little bit later on. But let's have a look at what we've got earlier on at York first of all we've got today's feature race there is the Lonsdale Cup and that is a two mile group two event and the top rated horse we've got in there is Wait Your Turn for Joshua Sutherland who's an unbeaten horse won its only two races so far 150 for Steve Rand's already run twice in its last four times as well so this should be a cracking race we've also got I Say Goodbye Now for Molly at Surfer in there an editorial for Paul Rose wouldn't be out of it either and you feel that Cricket Head has got to run into form at some point as well and even looking down towards the ones that are rated a little bit lower modern world for Khan Aragante he wouldn't be totally ruled out and Joshua Sutherland's second runner Thunder isn't, isn't beyond the realms of possibility that that one could win either the remaining races at York are Maidens and Handicaps and then we'll be off to Ripon for a couple of races at Ripon the famous old Great St Wilfrid Handicap first of all is a 6 furlong on to 70 uh, that could be a wide open race, nice big field for that one, and anything could take that with the top rated horse Daniel French's Watch Cloudy, not having been in the first nine in his last two starts. Chief Singer for Darren Howes won a couple of races ago. There's one or two in there that have got a little bit of a little bit of winning form, but mostly it's duck eggs, so we could have anything could win that one. Should be a bit of a thrilling race. Then there's the Rip and Cup, which is a two and a half mile listed race, so another race for the long distance horses these ones going just a little bit further and magical retreat from john morgan who's the king of the long distance stairs isn't he we'll be hoping that that one's going to win but oi toy for paul Rhodes is rated exactly the same on 117 there could be a good battle between them and graham clutterbox another one who likes a stayer and he's got drum taps in there as well so that's another race that could be wide open we'll see what happens with that one after we've had the races at ripon we'll be off to kempton for some of the qualifying races for the mile championships and the sprint and the juvenile and all sorts of things like that. And then we'll be off to Baden-Baden. We've got the Grosser Priest von Baden-Baden first of all. And that's a group one over a mile and a half. Bit of a disappointing field really. Only seven of them. The top rated one lights and sirens hasn't got form to write home about. It's all really noise zone for Darren Thompson. He's also not looking that brilliant on form. Picasso for Paul Rose would be the one for me in that one. He won the King Edward the, the seventh at, um, at Royal Ascot. And he couldn't rule out Elrond for Joshua Sutherland either. So a bit of a disappointing feel for that one. But it should still be a good race. The remainder of the card at Baden-Baden is mostly low-grade handicaps. But it should be a nice day out to get to somewhere a little bit different. So enjoy your day's racing then day three. We'll see you all next week on the comments. I think you've got Mike and Tim. So we'll see you all next time.